Peter. Dan. Did you know video games are all around us? Wow. And they're an omninescent being. And one of them, named Sony, has decided that you can now play Fortnite on other pieces of plastic and metal, although inferior to them. Today. Now. Forever. Truly, the future is here. And there. In what Sony calls a comprehensive evaluation process, they decided, you know what? Maybe letting people play uh, Fortnite with other people on other systems and not locking their account behind this barrier is a good idea. You know, options are always great. My favorite part of all of this is the PlayStation blog post. It, it should just be a sentence. It should just be crossplay is coming to Fortnite on PlayStation 4. Bam, there you go. But no, <laughs> PR Talk takes that sentence and mates it into five paragraphs. I honestly didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just wonderful terms and sentences like comprehensive evaluation process. You know, it wasn't just Sony looking at everyone's vitriol online and going, maybe we screwed up. Maybe one of the Sony executives was playing Fortnite one night and his son was on his tablet saying, Daddy, oh, I want imagine? to play with you. And his father looked at him and said, Son, if you're not on PlayStation, you're wrong. <laughs> uh, but I just let you go back to saying, uh, this is for the players. God, I can't believe they used to use that. I hate buzzwords. Yeah, I, that's why I specifically avoided reading the blog post because I knew it was going to be loaded with nonsense. It's 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 a great read if you're if you're if you're a big fan of of PR talk, and like I said, turning what is essentially a sentence of "Hey, yeah, Fortnite has crossplay now on PlayStation 4" to five paragraphs. There you go. <laughs> but Fortnite seems to be the only game getting it on PS4. Because Bethesda's Pete Hines had chimed in on Twitter yesterday saying crossplay will not be available in Fallout 76. Which is really awkward. When a couple of months ago they were uh, kind of shifting the blame there at Sony. Yes, they had stated that crossplay for the Elder Scrolls Legends was non negotiable. <laughs> but here we are with oh, yeah, we were never going to do it for Fallout anyway. Uh, a part of me does wonder if Sony are going to pull the old this is just for Fortnite kind of mentality. Because, like, this isn't really anything too new. I think back to the Portal 2 Sony E3, like, unveiling. And and Portal 2 had cross-play between PlayStation 3 and PC. There were some PS2 games with it. Yeah, yeah. And, like, it's, it's nothing too terribly new. But I wonder if this will just be a Fortnite thing specifically. Well, Fortnite is one of the largest games in the world right now, so I mean, it very well could be just Fortnite. The cynical part of me wonders that if Sony are just going to quietly hope that nobody remembers two months from now when uh, more games start popping out. Hopefully the, the pressure stays on them to keep doing this. I only see it as being beneficial to everyone. Because yeah. in the long run, what is it going to be like, oh, I can only play Red Dead with my friends on PS4. Guess I'll have to get a PS4. For a lot of games, it does take work. You, know, you can't just have it happen overnight. Although apparently in Fortnite's case, it was that easy because it already happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but accidentally. And then, and then they were like, oh, whoops. Still, like, I only see it in the best interest of at each console manufacturer because people in school are going to be, man, did you play Fortnite? Oh, crap. Better go get Fortnite. And then if they want a PS4 for whatever reason over Xbox One, now they don't have to worry about not playing Fortnite. Yeah. I am surprised, though, that they went with this move. They were they were so, like, adamantly against it for, for so long. And I thought for sure they were going to stick to that, at least until the PlayStation 5. Just because, like, the PlayStation 4 right now has such a dominant stance this generation in terms of uh, what's out there in the wild. It could have ha easily happened that way to be, like, a we were listening to you the whole time, but I suppose the pressure was just too much at this point that Sony had to make some move. There's even account unlinking now. Yeah, yeah, no more no more having your account basically being held hostage by by the PlayStation 4. That said, uh, what games do you want to see to support this? Obviously, like, Red Dead Redemption 2 would be, would be huge. That'd be wonderful. Personally, I would just like it to be a standard feature in everything, but if I had to pick one specific game... I would say something like Destiny. Destiny has such a struggling player base as it is. 
if you just unified all three of them, it would help. You know, MMOs like that could benefit from bigger player bases instead of segmenting by platforms. Yeah, now the, the console warfare can be taken to the digital realm. 14-year-old kids can scream at one another about which piece of plastic their parents bought them and why why it's better. And then they could actually fight it out instead of, you know, just yelling at each other online. Well, they'll still do that. They'll still yell at each other, but now they'll also be able to, to interact <laughs> in a whole new world at Fortnite. <laughs> what games do you want to see to cross-play support on PS4? Let me know down below. But for all your video game news, reviews, original features, and more, be sure to head on over to Destructoid.com.